biography of Wole Shoyinka, Akinwande Olu Wole Babatunde Shoyinka, known as Wole Shoyinka, was born on the 13th of July 1934. He's an Nigerian playwright, poet, and essayist. He was awarded the 1986 Nobel Prize in Literature, the first African to be honored in that category. Shoyinka was born in a Yoruba family in Abiokuta. After studying in Nigeria and the UK, he worked with the Royal Court Theatre in London. He went on to write plays that were produced in both countries in theatres and on radio. He took an active role in Nigeria's political history and its struggle for independence from Great Britain. In 1965, he seized the Western Nigeria Broadcasting Service Studio and broadcast a demand for the cancellation of the Western Nigerian regional elections. In 1967, during the Nigerian Civil War, he was arrested by the federal government of General Yahudi and put in solidarity confinement for two years. Shoinka has been a strong critic of successive Nigerian governments, especially the country's many military dictators, as well as other political tyrannies, including the Mugabe regime in Zimbabwe. Much of his writing has been concerned with the oppressive boots and the irrelevance of the color of the foot that wears it. During the regime of General Sonny Abacha, 1993-1998, Shoyinkal escaped from Nigeria on a motorcycle via the Nadeko route. Abacha later proclaimed a death sentence against him in absentia. With civilian rule restored to Nigeria in 1999, Shoyinkal returned to his nation. In Nigeria, Shoyinkal was a professor of comparative literature, 1975-1999, at the Obafemi Awolowo University, then called the University of Ife. With civilian rule restored to Nigeria in 1999, he was made Professor Emeritus. While in the United States, he first taught at Cornell University as Godwin Smith Professor for African Studies and Theatre Arts from 1988 to 1991, and then at Emory University, where in 1996, he was appointed Robert W. Woodrow Professor of the Arts. Shoinka has been a professor of creative writing at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and has served as scholar in residence at NYU's Institute of African American Affairs and at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, California, US. He has taught also at the universities of Oxford, Harvard, and Yale. In December 2017, he was awarded the Europe Theatre Prize in the Special Prize category awarded to someone who has contributed to the realization of cultural events that promote understanding and the exchange of knowledge between peoples. Shoyinka was born the second of six children in the city of Abiokuta Um State in Nigeria, at that time a British dominion. His father, Samuel Ayodele Shoyinka, was an Anglican minister and the headmaster of St. Peter's School in Abiokuta. Shoyinka's mother, Grace Eniola Shoyinka, whom he dubbed the White Christian, owned a shop in the nearby markets. She was a political activist within the women's movement in the local community. She was also Anglican, as much as the community followed indigenous Yoruba religious tradition. Shoyinka grew up in a religious atmosphere of syncretism with influences from both cultures. He was raised in a religious family, attending church services and singing in the choir from an early age. However, Shoinka himself became an atheist at the time. His father's position enabled him to get electricity and radio at home. He writes extensively about his childhood in one of his memoirs, Ake, The Years of Childhood, published in 1981. His mother was one of the most prominent members of the influential Ramson Kuti family. She was the daughter of Reverend Canon J.J. Ramson Kuti and sister to Olusegun Azaria Ramson Kuti. Olu Dotun Ransom Kuti and sister-in-law to Fumilayo Ransom Kuti. Among Shoyinka's cousins were the musician Fela Kuti, the human rights activist Beko Ransom Kuti, politician Oli Koye Ransom Kuti, and activist Yemisi Ransom Kuti. In 1940, after attending St. Peter's Primary School in Abiokuta, Shoyinka went to Abiokuta Grammar School, where he won several prizes for literary composition. In 1946, he was accepted by the government college in Ibadan, at that time one of Nigeria's elite secondary schools. After finishing his course at the government college in 1952, he began studies at the University College Ibadan, 1952-1954. Affiliated with the University of London, 
He studied English literature, Greek, and Western history. In the year 1953 to 1954, Shoyinka began work on Kevin's birthday treat, a short radio play for Nigerian broadcasting service that was broadcast in July 1954. While at the university, Shoyinka and six others founded the Pirate Confraternity, an anti-corruption and justice-seeking student organization, the first confraternity in Nigeria. Later in 1954, Shoyinka relocated to England, where he continued his studies in English literature under the supervision of his mentor, with a knight at the University of Leeds, 1954 to 1957. Before defending his BA, Shoenka began publishing and worked as an editor for the satirical magazine The Eagle. He wrote a column on academic life, often criticizing his university peers. Shoenka has been married three times and divorced twice. He has children from his three marriages. His first marriage was in 1958 to the late British writer Barbara Dixon, whom he met at the University of Leeds in the 1950s. Barbara was the mother of his first son, Ola Okun. His second marriage was in 1963 to the Nigerian librarian Olaide Ido, with whom he had three daughters. Shoinka married Fola Kedwaji in 1989. In 2001, the African Healthy Research Library and Cultural Center built a writer's enclave in his honor. It is located in Adeyipo village, Lagelu local government area, Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. The enclave includes a writer-in-residence program that enables writers to stay for a period of two, three, or six months, engaging in serious creative writing. In 2013, he visited the Benin Muad as the representative of UNESCO in recognition of the Niger Seven Wonders project. He is currently the consultant for the Lagos Black Heritage Festival, with the Lagos State deeming him as the only person who could bring out the aims and objective of the festival the people.